situated in Western Europe, Germany is a country of rich and captivating history. From its iconic cities to its breathtaking landscapes, it's no wonder that it's one of the world's top tourist destinations. Known for its historical significance, vibrant culture, and stunning natural beauty. Join us as we explore the top 10 best places to visit in Germany. At number 10, we begin with Berlin, the bustling capital of Germany. A city of contrasts where the past and present collide. Experience the electric atmosphere of this city as we explore its vibrant art scene, delve into its fascinating history, and witness its iconic landmarks. From the graffiti-covered walls of Kreuzberg to the world-renowned museums of Mitte, Berlin's art scene is a melting pot of creativity and expression. Here, you'll find everything from traditional paintings and sculptures to cutting-edge street and performance art. Berlin has many museums and exhibitions to choose from, such as the Pergamon Museum, which boasts ancient artifacts from across the world, along with full-size reconstructions of architectural monuments from Greek and Roman antiquity. The Alte Nationale Galerie, which is home to over 1,800 paintings and 1,500 sculptures, and the Urban Nation, a museum reflecting on the lives of minorities in Germany, which showcases sculptures and photography, street art, as well as citywide murals. The city's history is rich, albeit complex. Once divided by the Berlin Wall, its streets are still dotted with reminders of the city's turbulent past. A notable example is that of the infamous Brandenburg Gate, one of Germany's most iconic monuments. Once used to represent the country's division, this neoclassical gateway leading from Berlin to the town of Brandenburg an der Havel is now celebrated as a symbol of unity and peace. As you wander its many streets, alleys, parks, and thoroughfares, you're bound to uncover much more of what Berlin has to offer. Feel free to stray off the beaten path, explore, and simply take in the sights. And at number nine, we journey to Munich, the country's Bavarian cultural heart. Renowned for its world-famous Oktoberfest celebration, Munich is a city that knows how to party. Attracting more than 6 million people from around the world every autumn, this 16 to 18 day bonanza features a packed schedule of live music, amusement rides, games, and lederhosen wearing crowds. Immerse yourself in the city's jovial beer halls and enjoy as you take in the atmosphere. But there's more to this Bavarian gem than just beer and pretzels. Here you can also explore the lush English gardens and relish in the charm of Marienplatz, the city's renowned central square that's home to the historic St. Peter's Church. Munich is also home to some of the world's most famous museums, including the Deutsches Museum, the largest science and technology museum in the world. And if you're looking for a taste of history, be sure to visit the residence, the former royal palace of the Wittelsbach family. Munich is a city that is full of life and energy. It's a place where you can let loose and have fun. And it's also a great place to learn more about Bavarian history and culture. As we head to number eight, prepare to be spellbound by Cologne's architectural marvels and stunning natural beauty. Cologne is a city known for its breathtaking namesake cathedral and the romantic allure of the Rhine River. Here, you can lose yourself in the city's vibrant atmosphere visit art galleries, and enjoy a blend of ancient and modern vibes. The Cologne Cathedral is one of the most iconic landmarks in Germany. It's a Gothic masterpiece that took over 600 years to build, beginning in 1248 and not completed until 1880. It's worth seeing up close, with its iconic giant twin towers, 10,000 square meters of stained glass windows, each depicting scenes from the Bible and the lives of saints. Its choir decorated with elaborate carvings and sculptures and located in its center, under soaring ceilings supported by massive columns, stands a marble high altar and shrine to the three kings adorned with a golden canopy. The Rhine River is another must see in Cologne. 
beautifully winding its way through the city. It's a great place to take a boat ride or simply relax on the banks and watch the rushing water. And if you're looking for something to do in the city, be sure to visit one of its many art galleries. Cologne is home to a thriving art scene, and there are plenty of great places to explore. Whether you're interested in history, architecture, or art, Cologne is a city well worth the visit. At number seven, our next destination brings us to Stuttgart, where automotive engineering meets cultural heritage. Stuttgart is the birthplace of iconic car brands such as Mercedes-Benz and Porsche, and is home to a number of world-class museums dedicated to cars, such as the Mercedes-Benz Museum, which hosts over 1,500 exhibits, over nine levels, and more than 100 vehicles. From the original Benz creation of 1886 to the concept cars of the future, there's also the Porsche Museum, as well as the Motor World Stuttgart, a premier showcase for luxury cars. But Stuttgart is more than just a car city. It's also a city with a rich cultural heritage. This city is home to a number of museums and art galleries, including the Staatsgalerie Stuttgart, which houses a collection of European art from the 14th century to the present day. Here you'll also find the old castle and the new castle of Stuttgart, built in the 16th and 18th centuries respectively which boast some of the most beautiful architectural designs, artworks, and artifacts from the Renaissance and Baroque periods. And if you're looking for outdoor activities, Stuttgart has a number of parks and gardens as well, such as the Rosenstein Park, which is home to a rose garden with over 3,000 different varieties of roses, as well as the Wilhelma, a zoo, botanical garden, and aquarium all in one. That's home to a collection of animals and plants from around the world. On to number six, the romantic city of Heidelberg, nestled in the picturesque Neckar Valley. Heidelberg is a city that's full of charm and romance. Here, you can experience the magic of this idyllic destination, stroll along the famous Philosopher's Walk, and marvel at the stunning Heidelberg Castle that overlooks the city. The Philosopher's Walk is a popular spot for hiking and enjoying the views of the city and the castle, and gets its name from its reputation among university professors as a place that can stimulate the brain's philosophical nature. The Heidelberg Castle may be considered a ruin, but it's still an impressive sight to see. Called by many as the most picturesque castle in Germany and located on a hill overlooking the city and valley, it blends aspects and designs from Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque styles, with looming towers and a beautiful botanical garden. Alongside these famous attractions, the city itself is also worth exploring, with its winding narrow streets, half-timbered houses, and charming cafes. Heidelberg is a great place to just relax and enjoy the outdoors, with views of the Neckar River, along with plenty of tranquil parks and gardens. Beginning our top five and extending across France, Germany, and Switzerland is the incredible Upper Middle Rhine Valley. Recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, this expansive valley is known for its hilltop castles, historic towns, and delicious wines. With 40 castles here to explore, a popular activity is to take a Rhine River cruise for some of the best views. From the Marksburg Castle, known for never once being destroyed in its history, to the Stolzenfels Castle, known for its beautiful Gothic Revival architecture, to the Rheinfels Castle, known for once being the largest fortress in the valley. This region is also home to many picturesque towns, including Bingen and Rodesheim known for their half-timbered houses, winding streets, and wine cellars. Here, you'll also find the famous Lorelei Rock, a slate cliff that's said to be haunted by a siren. The Lorelei Rock is a popular tourist destination, and it offers stunning views of the river and the surrounding countryside. In addition to its charming towns and beautiful scenery, the Upper Middle Rhine Valley is also known for its delicious wines, Home to some of Germany's finest Rieslings, there are several wineries in the area that offer wine tours and tastings. 
a remarkable place to tour and explore. Any visit to the Upper Middle Rhine Valley is sure to be a memorable one. And at number four, we head to the Black Forest, a land of fairy tales. You may have heard a few Brothers Grimm fairy tales while growing up, so why not visit the place many look to as inspiration for such famous classics as Hansel and Gretel, Rapunzel, and Sleeping Beauty? The Black Forest is a mountainous region in southwestern Germany that's known for its dense forests, beautiful lakes, and stunning waterfalls. Here, you can hike or bike through the forest, go for a swim in its lakes, or just relax and enjoy the scenery. You can also explore one of the many picturesque villages in the region, such as the world-famous spa and casino town of Baden-Baden, the cobblestoned university town of Freiburg, or the charming town of Triburg, known as the original birthplace of the cuckoo clock. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even climb Feldberg, the Black Forest's tallest mountain, and enjoy panoramic views. With its breathtaking scenery and ethereal atmosphere, the Black Forest is a land that's sure to capture your imagination. At number three, we explore the third largest freshwater lake in Western Europe, Lake Constance. Lake Constance is an expansive lake that borders three countries, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. It's a popular tourist destination and is known for its beautiful scenery outdoor activities, and cultural attractions. Nature lovers will find plenty to do here. There are several islands in the lake, such as Maino Island, which is known for its gardens, as well as many nature reserves, such as the Volmatinger Ride Nature Reserve, which is home to a variety of plants and animals. Fans of history and culture will also find plenty to enjoy here as well. The lake's cities, such as Konstanz, Bregenz, and Friedrichshafen, all have a rich history and offer a variety of museums and historical sites to explore. And for those who enjoy outdoor activities, there are many opportunities for boating, sailing, and windsurfing, as well as hiking and biking trails in the surrounding area. Be sure to also visit the Fallbauten Unteruldingen, an open-air museum of 23 reconstructed stone and Bronze Age dwellings, Located in the lake's surrounding area, they offer a fascinating glimpse into the region's history. Lake Constance, also known as Bodensee on its German side, is a versatile destination that offers something to suit everyone. Whether you're looking for a relaxing vacation, an active holiday, or a cultural experience, there's something here to enjoy for every visitor. Coming in at number two, we venture to the charming medieval town of Rothenburg ob der Tauber. Rothenburg ob der Tauber is located in the Franconia region of Bavaria and is known for its breathtaking architecture, which has earned it the nickname of a fairy tale town. Situated on the popular Romantic Road, a scenic tourist route that winds through southern Germany, this medieval walled town is one of the many stunning destinations along the way. Here, visitors can wander through the town's narrow streets, admire the colorful half-timbered houses, and visit its many historical sites, such as the street, Jacob's Church, and the town hall. This town is also home to a number of museums, including the Medieval Crime and Punishment Museum and the Rothenburg Museum. In December each year, Rothenburg ob der Tauber hosts a world-famous Christmas market, a popular destination for locals and tourists alike, it features stalls selling traditional Christmas ornaments, as well as Bavarian food and drinks, and offers an enchanting winter ambiance for all who attend. A town rich with history and culture, Rothenburg ob der Tauber makes for a great place to visit. And while you're here, it can almost feel like you're stepping back in time. And at number one, we arrive at the Zugspitz, if you want to know what it feels like to be on top of the world, or in this case, Germany, then a journey to the majestic peak of the Zugspitz has you covered. The Zugspitz is Germany's tallest mountain, with a summit of 2,962 meters and is located on the border between Germany and Austria. It's known for offering stunning panoramic views of the surrounding mountains and valleys. 
There are two ways to get to the top of the Zugspitz, by cable car or by train. The cable car is the fastest option and reaches the summit in about 10 minutes. The train offers a slower yet more leisurely option, allowing you to take in all of the region's breathtaking scenery as you ascend the mountain. Once you reach the top of the Zugspitz, you're treated to 360-degree views of the surrounding landscape. Here, you can also dine at one of the summit's many restaurants or take a walk along its glacier plateau. The Zugspitz is a popular destination for hikers, skiers, and snowboarders alike. A place where you can experience nature and breathe in the crisp mountain air, or simply relax and bask in the stunning views, the Zugspitz is a must-visit for any traveler. That's all for our top 10 best places to visit in Germany. We hope you enjoyed the video and found some inspiration for your next trip. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel, Glamorous Getaways, for more travel inspiration. Thanks for watching.